back to Inspirational Cafe. I'm your girl, Rochelle, here. I uplift, encourage, and inspire. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and please, please subscribe. Let's dig in. Today, let's talk about for better or for worse. No, I don't mean marriage. I mean for better or for worse in Christ Jesus. Maintaining our integrity. Continuing to trust God even when we don't see our way, when we can't see the end. We see the beginning, we kind of sort of know the middle, but we have no idea of how the end will end. Maintaining our integrity for better or for worse. I wanna talk about going through situations and us continuing to trust and believe God. We all know the story of Job. The, the great story of Job and how he maintained his integrity after losing every single thing that he had, after losing all of what God blessed him with, and then not only to lose everything, but to have his body be attacked with sores, painful sores, because God told, he told the enemy, he told Satan, he said, yeah, I'm going to let you take everything away from him. Because see, Job was an upright man. He believed every word of God's. He believed that God's word was faithful and he remained faithful in God's word. So the enemy asked God, could he take everything away? And can he also take away his health? Something that we know we all need. Something that we know is a vital part of our everyday life, our health. We need our body to function properly. But God allowed Satan to attack Job's body. But Job never, he never lost his integrity in Christ. He maintained his integrity. So my question is when things happen to us, when situation and obstacles, difficulties, come in our lives, do we maintain our integrity for better or for worse? When that marriage starts to crumble and starts to, to, to deteriorate right in front of our eyes and it's leading to divorce, do we give up? Do we maintain our integrity? Do we continue to trust God and take him at his word? Or do we simply give up? When that defiant child, the child that we know and love, we raise them to be a productive part of society, to do good, to do well. We've placed them in the best schools. We gave them the proper education, but they chose a different path than what we saw them in. Do we give up? Do we maintain our integrity in Christ? Do we continue to pray and trust God that, he, that he's going to work out this situation? Do we simply throw our hands up and say that's it? Or do we continue to maintain our integrity in Christ? When we go to the hospital and we get that report of failing health, that condition that seems dim, that seems it has no more life. When the doctor says there's nothing else that we can do. Do we maintain our integrity? Do we trust God? Or do we throw our hands up and say this is it. I can't take it. I can no longer take everything that is happening in my life. Do we simply give up? Stop trying. Don't finish what God has asked us to complete that assignment. When he's given us that assignment, he spoke it into our lives. He told us what to, he told us to go forth, but he didn't give us the spreadsheet or the plans or the instructions. Do we simply give up on that plan? Or do we maintain our integrity and trust God and pray? Meditate on his word. Continue to believe in him. 
Or do we throw our hands up and say, that's it. I don't know what to do. I don't know how it's going to end. And I simply don't know how to start. So I'm giving up on this plan. Do we simply maintain our integrity in Christ or do we give up? And as I stated, we know the story of Job. His wife declared, she told him, curse God and die. This is too much. We've lost everything. My God, we, we've lost everything. And now your body is breaking down. You have these painful sores on you. You're no good. You can't, you can't work. There's nothing that you can do. I can imagine in her mind, she was feeling like you, there's no use for, for you, for me. So go ahead, curse God and die. Just curse him and die. Give up. There's no more integrity for you. Because you, you have no use. You have no use. I have no use for you and you have no use for no one else. Not even for yourself. Look at you. Your body is wrapped with sores. Painful sores. You've lost everything. We have nothing. So why don't you go ahead and curse God and die? It will be easier. So my question is to you all, is that what we do? Do we just simply give up on everything that God has promised us? Even when the situation looks dim, it looks like there's no more hope for you and I. Do we just allow the enemy to speak to us and make us believe after as long as we've been in Christ? The promises that he told us he would fulfill in our lives. Do we simply give up and throw in the towel? Or do we move forth, forth and continue to trust him? Take him at his word. Believe him. Even through the bad and the good. For better or for worse. Because we know every day is not, not going to be Sunday. I don't care who you are. We all have to go through. We, we all have to endure. We all simply have to face tests, trials, hardships, many, many obstacles, many, many barriers. But do we simply give up? Do we give up on ourselves? Do we give up on God for better or for worse? Do we maintain our integrity? Do we trust him? Or do we simply say, this is too hard? Oh God, this is too hard for me. Because we all know at one time or another in all of our lives, we, we face hardships and difficulties. All of us. And right now, to be truthful, a lot of us are eat or now either facing a trial, in a trial, or coming out of a trial. Because that's life. We simply know that that is life. Every day we live, we're going to be faced with some type of obstacle. That's life. That's a part of being a human. Because that is what strengthens our faith. That is what makes us stronger in Christ. That is what develops perseverance to allow us to see that we can get through those difficult times. That yes, it's hard. But if we continue to trust in God and take him at his word and believe his promises, this will be yet another test, another obstacle that we face and we persevere through. So my question to you is, do you maintain your integrity for better or for worse? Or do you simply give up? We have to remember that God said that we are victorious. Even in through that terrible marriage, even through that defiant child, even through those hard obstacles, even through that bad report from the doctor. We have to remember 
that God said that we're more than conquerors. He didn't just say that for any old reason. He said that because we are those things, but only if we practice and believe and trust in God and take him at his word. I can remember when me and my husband faced the most difficult challenge in our life, the most difficult obstacle that I thought I wouldn't make it through. I can remember him and I miscarrying our very first pregnancy. My God, I thought that that was the worst thing in my life. But as I faced that challenge, I saw that, oh no, there will be and there has been even more difficult challenges. But God showed me in that instance that I could make it through. He gave that test to me to show me and to grow me into greater, to make me stronger. Now I can tell others who have faced miscarrying, they have faced miscarriages. I can tell them that, oh yeah, I too, I've been through that. It's difficult. It's hard. But guess what? You can make it out of it. You can make it through it. God will see you through. He's no, he has no respect to person. Just like he allowed me to go through it, to face it, and to go forth. Yes, I always will remember. But I remember it as a challenge. I remember it as I persevered through it. I remember it as the test that strengthened me more and more to go through yet other challenges that I face. Because I maintained my integrity. I continued to trust God. Oh, I'm not going to sit here and lie and tell you it wasn't hard. Because my God, there were many days that I cried. I think I cried for at least almost a year straight. An entire year I cried like a baby. Like a newborn baby. In fetal position. Because that was a challenge. That I wouldn't want anyone to endure. But it was my ch it was my test. It was what I had to go through so that God could grow me and so that he could show me that you can get through this. Oh yes, it's hard. It's so hard. Just imagine being pregnant and actually showing actually feeling your child kick and then not to come home with the child. The most difficult, difficult test. But guess what? God saw me through. Because even in all the pain, even in everything I had to endure, even in coming home without a child, me and my husband, I never lost my hope in Christ. I never stopped believing. I continued to trust in him. I continued to pray, pray and ask God to help me to get through it. I remember my prayer was, oh God, why? I, my thoughts were, why this had to happen to us? Why? What, oh my God, what's going on? Why this had to happen to us? Oh, it was every single day I would cry. Why, why, why? But then as I continue, as I begin to understand, my prayer became, God, just get me through this day. And then that day became a week. And that week became a month. And that month started become, becoming six months. Six months became a year. And before you know it, I was a year in. And I said, God, Lord, I thank you. You got me through. Such a hard, hard test for me and my husband. But God blessed us because we remained faithful in him, trusting and believing in his word, maintaining our integrity, maintaining our integrity. We maintained and God blessed us with yet another child. So I just want to ask you, do you continue to maintain your integrity when you face hardships or do you simply 
throw in the towel and give up. Say, God, this is too much. We have to remember, God said that we're more than conquerors, no matter what we face. No matter what we face, we're more than conquerors. I just want to encourage someone to remember that you're more than a conqueror. The same God that brought you through one failed relationship, one divorce, one child that's being disobedient and not listening. He turned things around. It's never the end. It's never the end to anything. There's always, there's always more for God. There's always more for us through God, through Christ. Only if we continue to trust and believe in him. Through the bad and the good, for better or for worse. I want to encourage you. Maintain your integrity. Continue to trust God. Don't be like Job's wife. Say, curse God and die. Don't be like Job's wife because she didn't want to stand the test. It was just too much for her. She told him to curse God and die. But Job continued to trust God through it all. And in the end, he gained everything back that he lost because that's the type of God we serve. He will give you a double portion for everything that you lost. I want to encourage you to maintain your integrity for better or for worse. Whatever Christ allows to happen, whatever he allows to happen in your life, remain faithful and watch him give you even more. He'll give you more than, more than enough that you won't even have room enough to receive. As always, I am Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.